Let us know where you want us, Dr. Freeman. I just know that someday, you smell that? I'm not even gonna, I don't think that looks to me like that. I'm not a betting man, they're never. Okay. When this is all over, I don't, does that anyone, I can't believe, I can't remember the last time I, I can't remember, um, if I can live, if I ever get, when this is all over,
Let's go! Just get it open. Dr. Freeman, wait! We'll come. Whoa, deja vu.
way. Well, I'll be damned. I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You better hurry. are partly to blame, of course, my disappointment in Eli Van. I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Meteorological intelligences, worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our, with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Green. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith. What is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. When the singularity collapses, I will move far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. Oh, no, I don't know what you this can possibly hope to achieve, apart from your own annihilation.